Happy New Year to everybody, Happy New Year to everyone who has been following my page. I hope you guys are having a great time. So welcome to another edition of the King Stevens Hold Hands Movement and it's a new year so we have to do something new, something different. Okay, so today we'll be talking about the most important things to do before color grading. Before you apply your grade, you have to do some certain things that will help your grade stand out. For example, you have to do what they call primary color correction and secondary color correction so that's what i'll be showing you today today i'll be using davinci resolve but these ideas can go to any color grading software anywhere and i'll advise you to use davinci resolve too because it's a very professional color grading tool i think you should get one for yourself it's free and it's a free software you can just download it and use it we'll move over to the color tab which is down here I'm on the color tab and I'm ready to do my grade. So this is a song. Bolo se bolo se bolo e. Se bolo se bolo se bolo e. Je me redis bolo se bolo se bolo e. The name of the artist is Kosi, Big Dreams artist. Um, he's a great artist. He raps well. The video is on YouTube. You can just check the video on YouTube. The link will be on the description box below. A lot of people have been asking me if I shot this video on red. No, it was shot on the Sony A7S Mark II. <laughs> This is where you have your notes so another sense you can understand notes to be adjustment layers in photoshop or adobe premiere pro you put an adjustment layer you put something on it you put another adjustment layer you do some adjustment and stuff like that but these notes are very very powerful more powerful than adjustment layer that's why i recommend you to use this um davinci resolve but for time's sake i'll just move ahead so you can get a clue on what i'm saying i'm trying to do my primary color correction and primary color correction has three most important things you have to fix you have to fix your exposure and contrast you have to fix your saturation and you have to fix your white balance so the first thing i'm going to do is the exposure and the contrast i'll just use these um the wheel tools to do it manually so uh first of all i'll just come to my shadows davinci resolve 14 has lift gamma and gain lift here means the shadows gamma means the mid tones gain means the highlights then offsets is like the overall settings like the master I'll come to my lift which is like my shadows i'll pull it down like so you have to use your scopes video scopes to see where your your lift or your shadows is going so let me just take it down again like so yes and i want to take my gain up like so yeah i could take my gamma a little bit more I could bring down my leaves down a little bit like so yes and my gamma up a little bit okay i think this is a pretty decent image i'm done with exposing the images and giving my image a right contrast so what next i'm going to do now is i'll just create a parallel notes for tutorial's sake and for time's sake i won't ex i won't be able to explain the difference between the notes but if you need to understand just ask the questions and i'll reply i'll reply with a video tutorial so i'll create a parallel notes and there i'll add the saturation i'll bump up my saturation right down here to let's say 100 you can see my image start coming to life you can see before and after before and after then i want to do my white balance i will try now to look for something which is supposed to be white like if you see these um, lights up here it's supposed to be white so I'll try to make this thing white so that's creating white balance I'll create another parallel note this icon down here signifies white balance if you can see down DaVinci Resolve has made everything easy for us you just have to click and it automatically white balance your images for you so I'll just click on it and come over to this white stuff and click on it 
palm and I see its white balance already. So this is before and after, before and after. Okay, so I just finished with the primary color correction. Take note, I worked on the contrast and exposure. I worked on the saturation. I worked on the white balance. So next I'm going to the secondary color correction. So I'll just click here and create a serial node. On this serial node now, this is where I'm going to do the secondary color correction. Secondary color correction entails me adjusting the points of the images which needs to be adjusted. For example, um, adding the colors of this blue, making sure the skin tone is right. You know, whatever it's in the image that I wanted to adjust, I'll just adjust it, adding the colors of this blue. I want the background to be really blue, fixing the skin tones, making sure the skin tones are right. Maybe touching one or two things I want to touch. It depends on how the image looks like to me or how I want to do it. So that's the, that's, that's the reason why you should do secondary color correction. So yeah, I don't have much to do. I'll just have to work on the skin tones and this blue background. Okay, so working on the skin tones, I want to select the skin tones. I double click on, on my Syria node. I'll come over here to this qualifier. I just click on the skin, click right over here. It highlights just the skin. That's why I say DaVinci Resolve is a very powerful tool. So I'll just come over here. I'll just arrange this very quick. Just soften these so that it's not harsh. Come over here to take me back to my normal page. And I want to make sure that this skin is on the right position. And you do that with the scopes. Open your video scope. You take note, the skin is on the right position. Look at this line. This is where the skin tone should lie. If the skin tone is like this, it means you're wrong. You see here, yeah, it's, like, it's like an alien or something. If the skin tone is down like this, I mean, it's not correct. So you have to make sure that the skin tone is on this line. So maybe I just want to maybe add some more yellow like so. So you can see it's a very slight, very, very slight um, difference, but it makes a whole lot. Next, I want to work on my colors, the, the blue color. So just create another parallel note. And then I just, on, under the qualifier, I just click on the blue to highlight just the blue due to tutorials on time's sake i'm just trying to do this fast so you can understand you can have a clue what i'm doing so right over here i'll just um add the saturation like so i could also come over to my temperature and just make it a little bit blue like so so you can see before and after before and after look at this before after before after you can really see that change so control F to do the full screen and R D to check before and after. I'm done with primary and secondary color correction. What I have to do now is go to my grid. And before that, I would like to add some saturation to the overall image. So I just add some, some more serial notes and just uh, maybe add some more saturation like so. Then add some more contrast to like so, so you can see before you can see before after before and after you see how small things just change the image so you have to really pay attention to those small small things is very important so I add another serial note yeah I'm gonna add a lot so I just come over to 3d lots I go to the ascent lots I bought this lot from the color grading central I just come over to enhance and click on enhance and you can really see what enhance does let me put it on full screen you can really see what enhance enhance does see before this is before and this is after you can decide to dial down the intensity maybe coming right over here to key you take the gain to 0.50 or less but i think i really like it i really like it the way it came let me just reset this i really i think i really like it like this because I just want I wanted the image to pop out. I wanted the colors to really pop out. So I think it's really nice like this. So I'll just leave it this way. Really see. DaVinci Resolve is a really great tool. It's something you should plan to use. If you're not using it, you should try to get one for yourself. It's very, very important. <laughs> I really have my grid, so I just want to do some 
um, how will I call it, um, last things like spice up the grade. I don't just want to leave um, the lot there. I just want to do some adjustment on the lots. So I'll just um, create a serial note. And in this serial note, I will try to work on the colors. I'll use my color wheels, go to the gain, which is the highlight, push it up to the blue a little, like so. Then to my gamma, which is the mid tone, I push it up to the red a little, like so. And to my lift, which is the shadows, I want to take it down to, I want to take some, take it some more yellow, yellow yellowish, like so. Then I'll go now to another serial note. In this note, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I like to really do in my videos, the faded film. Just add some something small to spice it up. So I'll just click on this curve tool, come over to the first one and and just bring up this like so. So it creates this faded film look. You can see what I'm doing. I really like this faded film look. I don't know why, I just like it. <laughs> so you can see. One last thing I always like to do is to desaturate the shadows. So I'll just come over here. Add another serial note, then um, come over to the shadows under the curves. Under the curves, I just come over to Luma vs Saturation and click on this like so, and bring down the shadows. Gives that natural look mix because when the shadows are saturated, it has this not pleasant look to the eye. So I always like it to be desaturated. So as you can see, it's very, 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 very important to do those two things, the primary and secondary grade before you start grading. It's very important. And like I said, DaVinci Resolve has come to help us really acquire good colors with, I mean, 8-bit footages. I mean, when this video was out, a lot of people called me. I was like, Kang, you're using red and stuff like that. But I, I shot this video on Sony A7S Mark II, which is 8-bit, 8-bit colors. But you can see how DaVinci Resolve pops out these colors and try to make it work for you. So I really recommend you guys to use DaVinci Resolve. It's a very, very great tool. You just have to get a good machine for yourself and you'll be ready to go. So thank you once more for those who have been following up for those who haven't you can just subscribe right now and you'll be getting updates on every move i make on this channel for those who like the video you can just give it a like button you can share it to your friends so everybody can learn something it's all about hold hands movement thank you very much and again happy new year and see, see you, you next time, time.